If you have been diagnosed with adult onset type 2 diabetes, you may be able to control your condition through diet and exercise. Many people have genetic predispositions for adult onset diabetes, but the disease is usually brought on by poor diet and a sedentary lifestyle. It can be hard to reverse the damage caused by years of unhealthy living, but by changing the way you eat and exercise, you can help control your disease and can lead a fairly normal life without the need for insulin regulating medicine. Before embarking on a workout plan or adhering to a new diet, you should first consult your doctor. He or she will probably make dietary suggestions and will usually refer you to a dietitian who can help you plan your meals. The dietitian will tell you what you can and cannot eat, and what you can eat in moderation. You will have to cut out all of the sugar from your diet. This means drinking diet sodas, if you must drink sodas at all, and eating sugar-free candy on those special occasions. It is important to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables to take the place of all of those empty calories and to keep you feeling full and energetic. You should make sure to take in enough protein to help your muscles get you through your new workout schedule, and be sure to drink plenty of water to keep yourself hydrated. You will want to eat several small meals throughout the day rather than just eating two or three times with a lot of time in between. By eating more small meals, you will keep your blood sugar at a more steady level rather than having the ups and downs associated with large meals followed by gaps in eating. Once your diet is under control, the next step is to begin an exercise program. You don't have to aim for running a marathon or even a mile. Walking is the most prescribed form of exercise for diabetes patients. Whether you walk in the mall, around the neighborhood or on a treadmill, the most important thing is to get moving and to keep moving for an extended period of time every single day. Though you may not feel motivated at first, you will soon start to look and feel better and better. Seeing these changes will hopefully provide you with enough motivation to stick to your workout plan. If find walking boring, try to find a partner who will keep you motivated. There are also many diabetes support groups that have walking clubs that meet daily. You can join a club and meet other diabetes sufferers who will help keep you on the right track. They can provide inspiration and encouragement by sharing success stories, and by keeping you aware of the complications that can arise if the disease is left untreated. Once you get into fairly good shape, you might try playing a sport that you enjoy, like golf or tennis. You could also join a gym and participate in some yoga or aerobics classes to add some variety to your workout plan. Keep in mind that the best way to avoid diabetes complications is to change your lifestyle. Many of the common problems of people diabetes can be avoided by staying away from sugar and other harmful foods. By exercising and staying healthy, you can avoid vision loss and circulation problems associated with the disease without having to use expensive and debilitating drugs to keep your blood sugar at a healthy level. Remember that your body is your most important asset, and keeping it working properly should be your highest priority. Welcome to Channel Diabetes Collection. Here you can find lots of content and remedies related to diabetes, which will increase your knowledge and help you retain your health. It's all free. What you need to do is just subscribe our channel and check the link in description for more details.